Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gather around and prepare yourself for it's time to explore the unknown. The Blank Quilting Corporation proudly presents to you time travel by Urban Essence Design. Flying Zeppelins. Powerful locomotives. Mechanized bees. Gadzooks. This fabric line boasts all sorts of fantastical gadgets and gizmos and who's its and what's its. Transport yourself to another dimension with time travel. Now obtainable from your neighborhood quilt emporium. The next November 2023 shipping collection is On the Right Track by Larry Grossman. This is a train collection. It actually works well to follow up uh, time travel because uh, it kind of has some of those same motifs as that uh, steampunk line. So here we start with a 24 inch panel. Uh, you could use it as is, or you could cut out these different blocks of varying sizes. Uh, you'll see a lot of these motifs are in the line. Here we have some gravel, uh, the signs, the different trains and the steam, and then the, uh, the wheels for the trains and then here if you look you could see there's little trains with steam coming out on the selvage kind of cool there so let's check out the rest of the line uh you start down here we have some suitcases here we have different uh like signs for if you're on a train uh you know all the level crossing uh crossing no gates uh, things like that. And then this is actually happens to be the motif that's on the selvage, a little train with the steam coming out. Here's a train all over with lots of smoke. And then we go down here to the blue ground with the different trains kind of more spread out, a little bit more open. They look like they're flying by. Uh, here we go to a different like little blocks with different designs in there or patches. Um, lots of things having to do with trains. You got trains, railroad signs, a clock, the hats the lights, stuff like that. Here we have the train tickets. Again, really cool, um, really neat there. I'm sure we could read this. Lots of different Lancaster. Uh, I'm pretty blind, so can't go by me. Anyway, so let's keep going. Uh, we have the, the, the wheels for the trains. Uh, really neat there, that kind of makes like a stripe. Then we have these nice clocks on uh, like a gold color. That's very nice. And then we go to like a tone on tone with a, a sketch of the train on top of different train tracks, which is neat on the black ground. And then we finish it off with that gravel, uh, just for some little bit of quiet on any of the quilt projects that you make. So that is On the Right Track by Larry Grossman. The next November 2023 shipping collection is called Let's Eat Cake by Silas M Studio. And I'm all down for eating cake. Ironically, it happens to be my son's birthday today. So uh, there was already some candles this morning. So here, this reminds me of that perfect timing. Uh, this great panel, 24 inches, happy birthday. These great looking cakes and cupcakes, very festive confetti and balloons. Uh, then this little kind of cute little pink and white on the border. And then check out how vibrant those cupcakes look on the selvage. Those are pretty cool. I'm sure you can make something fun with that. So let's check out the rest of the line. It's 10 skew collection. And we're gonna start down here on the yellow ground. It has that same uh, same design is on the border of the panel. And then you have all your party hats and little some stars in there. Then we go up to the balloons and then the uh, dog balloons. We got a couple of those in there. Then we go to the happy birthday words, happy birthday, let's eat cake, hip hop hooray, stuff like that. Then we go down here to the white ground with little uh, confetti dots on with the cakes on it. Then we move to that, that textured ground again on an, a, like a greenish blue with the cupcakes, some rainbows in there, some confetti, little stars. Then we go to the dog balloons on the blue ground with that same textured background. And then we finish it off with three kind of blenders. Uh, this one is on a white ground with the candles and some confetti. Then we have a fun little stripe that would work great for binding. And then we finish it off with the confetti on that white and pink dotted ground. So that is Let's Eat Cake by Silas M Studio for the Blank Quilton Corporation. The next November 2023 shipping collection is called Dressed Up on the Farm. And it's by Myra Slava Veloshuk. Um, and it's really adorable, really sweet. Uh, she happens to be from the Ukraine. Uh, so we're kind of excited about this line and has a lot of quilt patterns in here as well as the animals. Here we have this little branchy 
a uh, little plant on the bottom and all these different blocks. You could use this as is, or you could cut up these little blocks and use them as you see fit. Here we have, check out the selvage, really cute. All the animals kind of horse, pig, donkey, rabbit, duck, all kind of following each other. Really cute. Then we go to the stripe. So we have all the adorable characters all dressed up. And then we have the animals in the frames. And then we have another row of the animals dressed up and then the animals in the frame. Here we go to uh, an all over scenic with all the animals and the farm and the plants and then the quilts in the background. Um, and then we go down here to the packed animals. Really always love those designs where they just pack them all in. Here we have a black ground with the little dressed up ducks. Here we have those quilt blocks again with the animals in there as well, all dressed up with the little hat on, hats on, headbands, glasses, adorable. Then we go down to the quiet stuff. We have a little uh, red bandana print, and then we have a little toss animal print. The animals are small on that textured ground, the same one that's in the block panel with the little plants. And then we have the little plants themselves on blue. So that is dressed up on the farm by Miroslava Voloshuk. The next November 2023 shipping collection for Blank is called Game On, and this is by Hannah of Pencil and Ink Studio. And it's just a small group of sports prints. We always do well with these. Uh, let's start over here on this end. So we start off with the words, offsides, goal, hold fe home field, outfield, referee, opponent, great print on black. And then we go to the different sports. So most of them have two designs per uh, subject matter. So we have soccer balls and then soccer balls on the grass. We have footballs. This one does not have a match. Down here, we go to hockey. And then I'm going to go this way, Marcus. Hockey pucks and the masks and the, and the ice skates. Then we go to baseball, where you just have the baseballs. Then you have a green ground with the baseball field. There's this little sketch with the bats and balls and hats. Then we do basketball. So we have the basketballs on the black ground. And then we have the basketball floor with the basketballs and then the basketball hoops. So nice tight group there of sports. People are always looking for this stuff, so it's pretty safe. This is Game On by Hannah of Pencil and Ink Studio. Hi everyone, this is Scott Fortunat, president of Henry Glass Fabrics. Today I wanna to show you our November 2023 shipping collections. The first line we have is called Buzzy B, and this one is by Jane Allison. We start off here with this nice 24 inch panel, and uh, you have the, the hive in the middle with beautiful flowers around, and then um, the honeycomb in the background, those shapes, and then you have this gray uh, bumblebee print and then down below here you have a nice little area that you could strip out if you wanted to use that with the um, beehives in there and some beautiful flowers as well. Let's check out the selvage. They did a cute little thing solids with little bugs in between. That's a good one. Nice job there. Uh, next we have the block print. Uh, these blocks are nine by nine and you could cut them out or use them as is. And then as a little added bonus, we've been doing this a lot lately uh, where you get the labels that you could add on stitch with which stitched with love by on the certain date and uh, let's check out the rest of the line so here we have a nice stripe and the stripe here starts with these lilac flowers and then the bees on the honeycomb and then the beautiful um, wild flowers with the beehives and then back to the lilacs and then we keep repeating so here's a nice uh, purple flower on a light blue ground with little blue flowers and bees then we go to the beehives with little bees on top of a gray ground honeycomb with little uh, clovers there. Then we have the patchwork. It kind of has a little bit of everything, the florals, the bees, the beehives. Um, and then down here, we have this nice blue ground with lovely blue flowers with green leaves and little uh, bees in the middle. And then we go to another white ground floral uh, with those lovely purple flowers again. And the bees are flying around as well as butterflies and ladybugs. Next, we have the blue ground print with the uh, just the bees flying around and they're making um, a shape of a heart with their little flying activity. And then we go to the finish here. We have two yellow prints with the one with the honeycomb and the bees and then one a little bit smaller with the honeycombs alone. So there you have it. That is Buzzy Bee by Jane Allison for Henry Glass Fabrics. The next Henry Glass November shipping collection is called Hoppy Hunting and it's by Kitten Studio. So uh, it's really just a cute little Easter collection here with the Easter bunnies. Um, these are 10 by 10. This is, uh, these are running yardage. So you get all these different 10 by 10 blocks uh, with all the different poses of the bunnies with the different uh, borders on there. Let's check out the rest of the line. So we have two stripes here, which is pretty neat. Um, we start down here with the one with the eggs and then flowers. 
and then a little blender, and then we go into the scenic with the bunnies jumping around, and then that keeps repeating. The other um, stripe is a little bit more basic with uh, just kind of like a little check, then some solid colors, the eggs, another stripe, a little rickrack, a dot, and that keeps repeating. Then we go to the green ground with the all over bunnies, uh, just kind of frolicking around with the eggs hanging out in there and some little flowers. Above that we have little wreaths or just kind of wreath shapes with different flowers and the bunnies inside and then uh, some eggs tossed around in multicolors, and that's on a yellow ground. Then we go to the purple ground with the set bunnies with some little flowers in between. And then Marcus, if you just go right next to that, we have the blue version of that as well. And then going down from there, we just have the Easter eggs and little flowers on the grass. Next, we go to a pink ground with the tighter print with the bunnies and eggs all tossed around. Next, we go to kind of a fun Rick rack with plaids and checks and dots, uh, little flowers and some eggs tossed in there as well and little blocks, those are one by one. Then we have a blue ground with lovely wild flowers and then we finish it off with this uh, nice plaid uh, for Easter. So there you have it, that's Hoppy Hunting by Kitten Studio. The next Henry Glass November shipping collection is called Mardi Gras and it's by Alessandra Gavin. And here we start off with the uh, block print and these blocks are around 10 by 10. Uh, it has all the typical and traditional Mardi Gras motifs in there. You got your masks, your confetti, uh, your necklaces, a little fleur-de-lis, some feathers, um, beads. Check out the selvage, really nice selvage there. Sorry, let's get that going with the fleur de lis and like the crowns. Then we go over here. It's a small group. Yeah, um, we have the stripe on the black ground where again you have the confetti and then the, the beads from the necklaces and then the crowns and the masks. Um, and then that keeps repeating. And then here we have the argyle with the fleur de lis inside. Again, it's just perfectly matched color with the um, gold, purple, and green. Then we go to the black ground uh, with little um, blue dots. And then we have all the masks and we move on to the next print, which is the black ground with the beads, the famous beads that everyone throws around and uh, you try to get as many as you can. Then we go back to the masks uh, and the fleur de lis, as well as some little dots on a white ground. And then we finish it off with the green, yellow, and purple feathers on the black ground. So that's Mardi Gras by Alessandra Gavin. The next Henry Glass November 2023 shipping collection is called Nature's Affair and it's by Jan Mott. And it's a beautiful floral collection in shades of blue, purple, green, and yellow. Uh, we start off here with the 24 inch panel with these lovely daffodils and violets, uh, these small birds in there as well. Uh, you could use this as one big piece or you could cut out this part and then use the top and strip that with the violets or the bottom. Uh, let's check out the selvage, just kind of a simple little uh, flower. And then we go to the block prints. Uh, these blocks, let's check them out. They are about nine by nine. And again, you could use these as is, um, as one piece, or you could cut them out and use them accordingly. Let's check out the rest of the line here. So we go to the stripe. Uh, the stripe is simple. It's really m mostly flowers, the violets, uh, again, all in the purple and green and it really makes a nice statement there. Then we go to the green ground print with the little ferns, some butterflies flying around. Uh, next we have the purple little flowers. Those are the violets on the green, uh, with the green leaves and then the black uh, background. Then we go to uh, the all over, which is just like the panel where you could see all the daffodils and violets with the birds flying around. And then next we have a uh, dark blue ground print with the lovely uh, they look like bouquets of flowers uh, with the daffodils and violets again and some ferns. And then we go to the blenders. We finish it off. We have um, a purple and green blender with just little ferns again or little leaves. And then we go to yellow and blue with the tiny little, um, the tiny little flowers there. That's Nature's Affair by Jan Mott for Henry Glass Fabrics. The next November 2023 shipping collection for Henry Glass Fabrics is Valentine Wishes. This is by Stacy West of Buttermilk Basin. Really simple, kind of classic line. Uh, it's 10 skews and it just has the essentials. So you got right here, and it's on like a little bit of an off-white ground. Uh, here we have little hearts and little ribbon and then Cupid. Then we go to a nice uh, white ground with a small paisley and a pink dot. And then we just go to some really nice small prints, little hearts in a grid, 
on a pink ground, the little hearts on a grid on a white ground, and then we have tiny little rosebuds on a pink and white stripe. Then we have little, um, just little, little tchotchkes, little plants, and then we have it on red as well, and then we have little um, batches of flowers right here with the red on the white ground, and then we have the same print with um, white on a pink ground, and then we go to white on the red ground. So there you have it. That's Valentine Wishes by Stacy West of Buttermilk Basin. The next November 2023 shipping collection for Henry Glass Fabrics is Timeless Linen by Stacy West of Buttermilk Basic. This is a great basic of 20 SKUs, lots of great colors, not a lot going on, just a simple texture, uh, kind of two-tone with just little, it almost looks like fly. So one time when they um, weave the gray goods, sometimes the threads flying around the warehouse get weaved in and that's almost what it looks like just like a little line sometimes you probably see that in your fabric and you wonder what it is that's fly so this is just simple uh timeless linen basic all these great colors purples reds greens blues and these work super well with stacy west collections so there you have it that's timeless linens for henry grass fabrics Hi everyone, Scott Fortunoff here, president of Studio E Fabrics. Today I want to show you our November 2023 shipping collections. And I'm starting off here with a 108 group. This one is called Red, White, and Starry Blue 2 108. It's by Chelsea Design Works. It's a four skew collection. Uh, really not a collection, it's a 108 group. Uh, you're not going to use 108s together. So um, it's patriotic. We do a lot of uh, great work with patriotics, whether it's for Quilts of Valor, July 4th, any any um, American holiday. Uh, so we start here with this blue ground with the shapes of the stars, different shades of blue, a little texture in there as well. Here we have the decorated stars that have stars inside, they have stripes inside, dots, etc. red, white, and blue. Here we did a blue ground with red and white and blue ribbon. And then we finish it off with the flowing flag print with the little red and blue stars in there. That's red, white, and starry blue 2 108 by Chelsea Design Works. The next November 2023 shipping collection is called All Big Things Start Small and it's by Beth Reed. This line's doing great. Uh, so we start off here with the book panel. This is a 36 inch book panel. All the instructions are here on the bottom, but it's really sweet. Um, just about how all big things start small. And then let's move on here. So then we have some uh, little blocks. Let's check those out. Those are probably about nine by nine, something like that. Um, check out the selvage here. We got the little elephant. So again, you have these nine by nine blocks with the animals with their uh, headdresses with the little flowers in them on a yellow ground with these uh, pink, yellow, and uh, aqua polka dots. But look how sweet this little guy is. Really awesome. So she did an awesome job here. So let's go down here. Uh, so we have the yellow ground print with the horses, oh, sorry, with the zebras. So you have the regular zebra and then you have the zebra with the body that's decorated with flowers. Then we move on to the elephant design, which is on a white ground uh, with little uh, green dots and little leaves. Um, the elephant is sitting and standing in different positions. Here we have the, all the animals mixed together in a toss with some little flowers that is on a white ground. Then we go to more of the blenders. Here is a little pink flower on a pink ground. Then more um, above that, we have some more tropical colored flowers um, and leaves and plants on, an, on a blue ground. Then we go to the all big things start small. These are the small guys, all the baby animals uh, on a green ground with some little green dots and some little plants, leaves, uh, palm fronds and things like that. Here we go to white ground with some uh, brightly colored flowers, and then we have a little zebra stripe in multicolor, which is lots of fun. And then we finish it off that, that dot, with that dot on the yellow ground that's uh, throughout the line. It has pink, blue, and orange dots on the yellow ground. So that's All Big Things Start Small by Beth Reed for Studio E Fabrics. The next Studio E November shipping collection is Star Spangled Beach, and this one is by Sharon Lee. Uh, so we start off here with this block print. I'm going to get my handy dandy ruler and these are six by six. So again, you could use these as is or you could cut them out. I'm sure you could have lots of fun with these. You've got the flag with hearts, hearts again, sandals, uh, a fun little flag made out of seashells, bathing suits and so on. And let's check out the rest of the line. So we go to the stripe. Uh, the stripe here starts with, let's say, the sandals and then a stripe and then little sunglasses and other stripes, some stars, bikinis, and then that keeps repeating. 
Then we go to the patchwork print. It has a little bit of everything in there. The bathing suits, the sandals, the sunglasses, the beach gear, the shells, some flowers. Here we go to an off-white ground with the different sandals uh, that have some red and blue stars in the background. Here we go to a dark blue ground print with little blue dots and all different bathing suits and accessories, uh, sunglasses, bags and such, and some little stars and starfish in there too. And then down here we go to a sunglass print on the blue ground with the blue dots like the other design. Here we have like a low volume print with, um, it's kind of on that same off-white ground with little red and blue anchors. Next we have a white ground print uh, with kind of a, a, a um, play on a flag uh, with little some starfish in there and then little stars in the background that's on a, a white ground. Here we have a red ground print with different size blue and white stars. Then the off-white ground with the little cherries and the little tiny little flowers. And then we have a nice plaid that's made up of stripes and stars uh, in red, white, and blue. And then we finish it off with the blue ground with a lovely little red flower. So there you have it. That is called Star Spangled Beach. And that is by Sharon Lee. The next November shipping collection for Studio E is Dream Horses by Nancy Smith. And of course, it's a beautiful horse line in great shades of blue and green and purple. Really so much going on in here. It's really neat. I love the way they put the words in too. People always like the words. But so this is uh, the panel. And you can see it there and you get the, th the three um, horses. And then we go to the rest of the group here. So let's go, where are you? You're over here. So here we did a little patchwork, uh, similar horses that were on the panel. Uh, with a, look at all the great detail, all the different designs in here. You got a little dot, you got some words um, with this lovely blue uh, border. And then we have the, the uh, word background on gray with the different color horses that are all have different designs in their bodies. And then here, let's show this one a little better. So this is all the, the, the green and blue version of the horse, just the faces. And then we go down here to the purple version of the horse faces and down here to the, the lovely green and blue color, almost like a turquoise. And then here we move on to the blenders where you have just a small horse, green horse on a green ground. And then we have the dots that match the border in the patchwork that you can see right here. And then we finish it off with that same uh, pattern on the light green. So that is Dream Horses by Nancy Smith for Studio E Fabrics. The last November shipping collection for Studio E Fabrics is called Coral Reef and it's by Lori Anzalone. And this line is done digitally and there are a lot of things to show you that are re really amazing. First off, the art is so amazing. It far exceeds any image of these designs that I've ever seen. The details are just so unbelievable. I, I, I I mean, I hope your video does this justice. But not only that, uh, so check out the selvage. This selvage is like the winner, winner, chicken dinner of selvages, of all selvages. It's amazing. Uh, but in any case, this is the panel. Um, it has a cut line. Actually, it's really not a panel. It's really running yardage, but it, so it has a cut line. If it were a panel, the line would go all the way through. So it just has a cut spot. If you want to cut it there, if not, you could have, you know, maybe you want to use two of the panels and do it that way. So here's another panel. I'm going to go on the other side. And um, these are the little blocks. Uh, so this is just running yardage blocks. But look at all this detail up here. They did a fabulous job. It, it's really wonderful. I, I can imagine that we're going to do fabulous with this line anywhere where they fish or near the water and let's move on to the rest of the collection so here we have the stripe again marcus just get in there it just looks real the colors are fabulous and vibrant and uh, again maybe you want to check out the selvage again look how neat that is people who are into selvage this is the the selvage of all selvages so here we have a blue ground with the fish in the water here we did the seahorses in the water, orange, uh, yellow, and red with the little plants. And then we go over here, kind of more of the blendery stuff. So uh, here we have sea and anemone um, on the blue grounds. And then we have the shells and starfish on a white ground. Love how this has like a, a watercolor feel. Then we have the, the, the lovely puffer fish, nice and yellow in the water, little bubbles. And here we go down to some nice colorful coral. And then we move to tiny schools of fish. This is a great print because this looks really awesome um, in a quilt. It looked really cool. And then we finish it off uh, with 
I forgot what that fish is called, but different fish. That's the one that's poisonous. I don't know if you remember that one. Okay, no. All right, anyway, so that is Coral Reef by Lori Anzalone for Studio Fabrics.